Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Don't mind my hair. I don't know what's going on with it. It has a mind of its own. And we're just going to let it ride, okay? Because we are past wash day. Anyways, moving on. If you are new to this channel, please go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button down there and join the family. And yeah, let's get to it. So if you're watching this video right here, right now, then obviously you are somewhat interested in the keto diet. Maybe you're already on it. Maybe you're struggling, don't know what to do. Or maybe you heard about it and you kind of want to dip your feet in, get wet, and see what all the tea is about. Well, sister, I'm here to tell you. So I myself have been doing keto for over a year now, right? All right? Yeah. I've actually been doing it for about a year and a half to be exact, which means I know just how tough it can be, at least starting out, because right now I'm living my best life. I love it. And keto's not going anywhere, not for me, at least not for a long, 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 long time. And within that time, I've lost just about 60 pounds. And not only have I lost the weight, but I am able to keep it off. Those of you who may be new and don't know, I recently had eye surgery, which means that I can't quite work out just yet, but I have been able to maintain the weight that I've lost in the meantime by sticking with my keto diet. So what I have for you guys today are six tips that will help you stay on track um, in your keto journey. These tips that I have for you guys today, they are the no BS tips. No BS, just real raw information from a real person that has gone through this and has been living this lifestyle for over a year. And yeah, I want to share them with you guys. Keto has honestly changed my life. And I know a lot of people out there have heard about the diet, but they've either like, oh, too, I can't do that. I'm not cutting out carbs. Or maybe they've tried it and just haven't succeeded with it. So I'm here to share these tips with you all so you can start living your best life as well. So let's get to it. Before I get into the actual tips, I am going to get just a little bit of scientific here, just a little bit, not too much. A disclaimer, I'm not an expert, okay? I'm just a normal person that has done the research and has been doing this diet for a little bit of time. I just want to tell you the basics, okay? So what is keto? In a nutshell, how you will be eating on the keto diet is this. High fat, low carb, moderate protein. A lot of people have this misconception. We tend to think, eat fat, I'm going to be fat. No, sis. And we all know what carbs do, right? If you don't, carbs break down the turn to sugar, aka glucose, and that is not what we want. Okay, so what happens is once we raise our fat and lower our carbs and glucose levels start getting a little low, the fat that is in our body that we are consuming, okay, is converted into ketones and then in turn is used to fuel our body. So basically, our body is burning fat for fuel rather than glucose, sugar. So basically what you're doing when you go keto is you are turning your body into a fat burning machine. But enough of that, okay? That's enough scientific crap for me. That is not what we're here for. If you want that stuff and you want more information about that, I can and I will link some actual good information down below in the bottom bar. So do make sure that you check that out down below if you want more nitty gritty info. But yes, on to the tips. So. First things first, the very first tip, the very first thing that you need to do when you're starting keto, or as a matter of fact, any diet for that matter, is take before pictures. Take your pictures. I know, I know it may be uncomfortable at first, but trust me, you are going to want these pictures. You're going to want them. I know right now you're probably thinking, mm -mm. yes, you will. I promise you. Because I have taken so many before pictures in my life, but let me tell you, there are so many that I wish I would have taken. So... Take those pictures because they're going to be the number one key for you in tracking your weight loss. Yes, we have the scale and it is a factor and it is a tool and it does help. But the worst thing you can do is just rely on the scale alone. The scale alone will tear you down so so much. I'm telling you, it's going to tear you down. Simply because we're human, okay? Our water weight fluctuates. Just everything... Our bodies, okay, the weight, it fluctuates, all right? Especially if you're like me and you're a woman. You know, we have certain times of the month. Our bodies are hormonal. Things happen. We blow. Weight goes up and down. And the last thing you want to do is step on that scale and be like, <gasps> and get discouraged, okay? Because let me tell you, it will happen. It's happened to me. It's happened to several other people. It's probably happened to you. And we don't want that. What you want to be fo more focused on is the inches that you're losing and how you feel don't worry about the scale take the pictures and don't be like oh no i don't want nobody to see me okay that's okay a you can take the pictures yourself okay it's 2019 
We all know how technology works, all right? You can get like me and have a little clicker doodle. Got this on Amazon, I can link it below. Got this little clicker, set my phone up over there, and I take my pictures by myself. I don't need anybody taking them for me. You don't either. Or if you don't have one of these little things or you don't want to invest in one, that's okay too. All smartphones and cameras, they have this nice little handy dandy tool called the self timer. Put that thing on three or 10 seconds, run back, stem, click, click, click it's that simple moving on the second tip that I have for you guys is to start small like don't make it harder than it needs to be at first okay because once you're first starting keto it can be a lot of information to take in you know and if you're like me okay once I start getting too much piled on me I'm like you know what <laughs> never mind I'm not interested and that is not what we want especially if you are really got honestly um, interested in keto and, and want to start doing it so my advice to you is to start small don't start out worrying about like counting all your macros and, and, and all that stuff what are macros macros are your carbs your fat and your protein and while these things are so important when it comes to really being full on into ketosis and everything again you don't want to overwhelm yourself start with just worrying about the net carbs that you're eating just start start there okay and then work your way up what are net carbs net carbs are the total carbs in an item minus the fiber and that my friends is what counts as your carbs for the day so start out just monitoring those as long as you're keeping your net carbs around 19 grams or less you're good to go which brings me to the third tip that I have for you guys and this tip is for once you have mastered like counting your net carbs and you're ready to bump it up and, and start really getting real serious and real strict and, and start counting your macros then track it use a food tracker this is so so helpful especially when you're starting out because once you actually get into uh, the keto diet and you've been doing it for a while you really won't have to do this so much because you'll be so used to doing it that it'll just come naturally to you but once you're starting out and you want to really keep track of what you're eating for the day use a food tracker so the best one that I can recommend for you guys um, for the keto diet is something called carb manager I love this app right here. I used to use it all the time. Again, because I've been doing it so long, I don't use it as frequently, but I still do sometimes, and it is such a great tool. Now, um, obviously this is for iOS. I'm not sure if Android has this, but if not, then MyFitnessPal is another one that you can use. But if you do have iOS, then please, just stick with the carb manager one because it is it's so much better in my opinion this actually takes your macros and puts it in like a little pie graph and it shows you like what percentage of each that you can have per day and once you start logging your food it deducts that and shows you how many you have left it's just so so helpful and yeah moving on to the next one electrolytes electrolytes are important to anyone but especially 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 when you're doing the keto diet why well because once your body is in full-on ketosis then your kidneys are excreting uh more electrolytes more water so you're wanting to replace them otherwise you may just get something called the keto flu which even if you are replacing your electrolytes you still may get the keto flu but it might not be as bad so you really want to make sure you are replenishing your electrolytes the fifth tip that i have for you guys is to plan out your meals meal prep and this one's kind of like a no-brainer when it comes to any kind of diet not just keto um you want to plan things out it's so much easier to stay on track when you already know what you're eating and when also if you have a really busy schedule if you already have your meals and stuff meal prepped and ready to go you can just reach in grab them out the fridge take it and go as opposed to not having anything cooked and then you run the risk of going out eating fast food instead and when it comes to actually what you can eat Again, I will link it below. I will find a basic list for you guys, put it down there. But again, there are so many others out there. You can find all kind of recipes anywhere online. Just go to the Googler, type it in. Of course, there's Pinterest. There are like keto food pages to follow on like Instagram and stuff. Like really your resources are endless. So use all of that to your benefit. And my sixth and final no BS tip for you guys is to stay motivated and i know that sounds so cliche and basic okay but hear me out it's gonna be hard any diet is, is hard okay but keto is one of those that's really hard in the beginning because we basically have been eating carbs our entire life in anything all the breads the cereals all the sugars and all that and i live in the south we like all the carbs okay fried chicken okay cornbread 
okay we like all of the carbs down here <laughs> so it's going to be hard but if you could just stick it out and get through that like first week or two you will be okay I promise you will be okay you just gotta stay strong a lot of times as people what we'll do is we'll commit to something until it gets uncomfortable and then we're like mm, no okay never mind never mind change my mind I can't do this it's too hard I can't do it but you can't do that you got to be willing to fight through the uncomfortable okay because once you fight through that uncomfortableness and you get to the other side you're gonna be so so happy and so glad that you did it so please just stick with it and i promise you i promise you you'll be turning around thanking yourself and you will change your life you have to change your mindset in order to change your life period okay. that's enough i'm gonna cut it off right there because as you guys can see this is something that i'm very passionate about okay and when it comes to being motivated and stuff like that i can talk y'all ear off i can talk on 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 but i'll save all that for future motivational videos if you want some daily motivation or maybe if you want to keep up with my fitness journey uh then go ahead and follow me right here over on my fitness instagram i do have a main instagram which is underscore brisom underscore but my fitness Instagram is at MILF and Motivation. And yeah, that's about it. I'm tired of talking. My tummy's rumbling and I got to go. So of course, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful or motivational in any kind of way, then of course, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up down below so I will know. And of course, subscribe if you're not already. Okay, and don't be selfish, all right? Because if you know somebody that this may help, then share it with them. We gotta keep each other accountable. So go ahead and share this. You might just encourage someone to change their life. And that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.